This is Primo Magazine, and today we're going to be looking at some footage of the aftermath of the riots and protests that happened at the U.S. Capitol building in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This first shot here, we can see large amounts of fencing going up and down around a few blocks away from the Capitol building. You can see some soldiers on the right here. This is the U.S. National Guard, the D.C. National Guard, which can be called in by the President of the United States. And we're going to see a lot more of those soldiers in a few shots here. In this shot, we can see that there's a large-scale fencing project happening around the United States Capitol. You can see the Capitol right in the background here. But this is pretty unprecedented. Even in inaugurations past, we've never seen this kind of fencing surrounding the entirety of the Capitol grounds. Before, you could walk up to the, to the Capitol, you could visit the Capitol. We see lots of uh, D.C. residents and tourists as well. Here we see some other fencing along, along the Library of Congress. Some of these happen to be construction fencing, and some of this happens to be um, fencing for the inauguration. But if you can look very closely, you can see some National Guardsmen as well standing on top of the post on this little balcony here at the Library of Congress. The Library of Congress is a beautiful, beautiful building, and um, it has priceless historical artifacts. And obviously, um, the D.C. National Guard and the federal government want to do everything in their power to protect and preserve those documents. And you can see this fencing going all the way down. There's a National Guard soldier um, right there. Lots of tourists, lots of people in this area. It's a very um, lively area of Washington, D.C. Here's another really good look at the Capitol building. We can see that the flag is at half mass. I believe this is because of a police officer who lost their life at the Capitol riots. But this next shot right here really shows the fencing all along the Capitol grounds and how there is absolutely nobody permitted to walk on the Capitol grounds, on the pavilion. The only people who are allowed are Capitol Police, MPD, as well as the National Guard. And this is really, really something. This shot right here is of the United States Supreme Court, which surprisingly uh, also has fencing. And I suppose this is due to the controversy around the Supreme Court regarding this election and the election results and allegations of uh, voter fraud. But it goes all the way around the Supreme Court building, just like the Capitol building. Again, here's another shot of the amount of National Guard soldiers that have been posted around the United States Capitol. This is the Senate office building, and you can see there's also some construction going on. That's been there for quite some time, going back all the way till spring. I do not believe that this was placed there, this wall, this fencing was placed there due to the riots. And we can see some more um, fencing. We can see that they're trying to protect the Senate building. I believe this is for the inauguration, but these National Guardsmen who are uh, posted here, it's absolutely in response to the riots that happened on Wednesday.
Again, here we see lots of fencing adjacent to the Senate office building. And again, this goes completely around the Capitol grounds. It's a full fence perimeter that has just been placed within two days. Here, this next shot is a frontal view of the inauguration. You can see Betsy Ross's flag and the preparations that have been made. And this right here is a TikTok that we found, and it shows tons and tons of police officers. This uh, individual who made it uh, here, at, here in D.C., uh, right around the same time, we can see that there's tons of soldiers and tons of cops, as the um, as the uh, the text says, and it, and it will showcase here to you in a moment how the how there's tons of fencing uh, right here, exactly. So this is the aftermath, and it's pretty severe, and it's pretty sad that civilians cannot step foot uh, on the Capitol grounds. So it's going to be interesting to see how Washington D.C. comes back from this. But this has been Primo Magazine.